Hey guys, Dirt over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, just thought I'd do another ROM video, so I got some free time. Let's see if I can make this clear. No? Well, I'll try to do it while I talk. Uh, so, I have not done anything yet, so let's wipe data, factory reset. Hope that it doesn't restart on me. So we're just going to go to advanced, wipe Dalvik, yes, then you go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip, go to where you already saved it, I saved it, download. Here we go, Vagabond. This is one of my favorite ROMs. I really like this one. Well, let me just set it down. We can watch it. <clears throat> A lot of ROM developers like to put special text here, so. And this one has the Infuse Toolkit made by Zen Arcade. So, let's go through this. Agree. Kernels here. So we got entropy, DD, Ooh, daily drivers, what that means. I'm going to choose in Fusion Z Core A because I kind of want it to be as fast as possible. It's kind of the point. If asked, I can do each kernel individually, but my favorite is this one. So we're going to go modems, UCLB3, next. This does not have boot animations. It is, uh, it has been disabled in this ROM to speed up boot time. So tweaks. You have your set of tweaks here. Can't read it. So level one, got moderate. Two, you got normal or filtered. Level three is full and all of them. I'm going to do level three just because. And also you can remove them and restore. So let's just flash this. And go back and do build prop tweaks. Formatting. The fastest is ext4. RFS is normal. It's not as good or as fast, so we'll flash this, setting an ext4 flag, which means that boot is going to take longer. I'm sure that'll be fine, though. So, there we go. And this will be the actual ROM installation. Trying to hold this as steady as I can. I'd like to thank Quickster for this ROM. It's one of my favorite. Has a lot of options and is very cool. There. Done. Next. And I would like to reboot now. And this is just CWM finishing up.
And now we watch reboot. <clears throat> This boot might take a bit longer because of all the tweaks I added, the kernel and all of that, and especially the um, changing to EXD4. See, this is where the boot animation would be, but it's disabled on this ROM for speed. even though I really don't see much difference. There's apparently a boot up speed difference. So, still waiting. I'm gonna pause this because I'm not sure how long it'll take, and we'll resume when it's fully booted. See you guys in a bit. Okay, it's booted. I'm not going to go through this because I do not really care. So... Quit. Just some quick things we can notice. This has been themed. Let me just turn this off. This battery... This battery is not actually accurate right now. It is not at 7% because it was just at 60 something. It says scrolling, so I want. Hmm. Okay, well. There. Has reboot and shutdown toggles. And then. Nothing going on, homie. Has three different launchers here. We have Holo, TW, TW. I'm going to use Holo because it's an ICS-based launcher. So let's just go through some basic apps here. This is the Amazon App Store up there. CIFS Manager. Which is just a network drive. Fast reboot. I'm pretty sure this isn't actual rebooting your system. It is the um, rebooting status bar to free up some RAM. That's what this is. This is actually rebooting your system. This is a, uh, want to say screenshot. I haven't used it in a while. We got quick panel and quick pick. See that all the themes are ICS or ICS themed. System settings, nothing really new here. I love my Infuse, this is a donate thing, I think. At least it would be if I had my internet on. So, see Vagabond, my Quickster. I'm not gonna have much to show with this one, these are just just showing you some of the Google apps, but I'm not going to have much to say about this one. I mean, I can show you how snappy it is. Snappy being that it will respond to your movements almost immediately. <clears throat> Sorry. And I really have nothing else to say about this. This will be a shorter video. I do want to thank Quixer. I like the theme he has going here, this blue and yellow. Actually, it's try TW. See, that's the stock one. I kind of like this theme better, to be honest. CPU Master, that wasn't there last time. Let's just show you that it is actually overclocked. 1.6 gigahertz. 1.6 gigahertz. acting out. There we go. <clears throat> Just had to hit it twice, I guess. So, I have all of these. It is, in fact, overclocked. And 
can be undervolted. I don't want to really get into that because it's more device specific, not uh, <clears throat> like one common thing. There are ones that will work, but not perfectly. And you can Google search those. So here's GPU control as well. And I don't want that to stick, so I'll just leave it. But this has been Aroma Vagabond version 4.0 by Quickster. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, leave me a comment telling me that you did, or if you didn't, leave me a comment telling me what I can do better to make you enjoy it. I also hope that this installation was helpful for you if you were having some troubles installing this specific ROM. And I hope you come by later to watch some more videos. I'll see you then.